hi how are you doing today i hope you are having a lovely day thank you so much for tuning in to fab trends by mia as you can see today's video is a review and this is a fragrance out of bulgaria and you know what i realized this is the first fragrance that i have from bulgaria so this is exciting this is a first and this is a fragrance called insomnia from the house of fabio safari let's get into this Right, so this is a 2017 release and this is the presentation for the fragrance. So you've got just that plain box. It's literally just a plain box and some details at the back comes in that box. And this is the bottle for presentation. So that's your bottle. Simplistic elegance, I would say. And the name of the fragrance is on the cap. So there is the name of the fragrance insomnia and you've got like a gold line going across the cup and it's a plastic cup quality just nice quality so this is your presentation of insomnia and the juice is like plum color so it's really like a dark purple and you know what if you look at their composition then definitely you expect the color of the juice to be that color so what are the notes listed the listed notes in this fragrance are at the top you've got rum then you've got chocolate and caramel yes at the mid we have coffee and ylang ylang then at the best we've got patchouli sandalwood cedar and tahitian vanilla so if you look at that composition oh my goodness me and you've been here then you would almost certainly know that this is a fragrance i'm bound to love because i've said this before vanilla sandalwood match made in heaven and then we've got caramel chocolate rum oh my goodness me it's like it's this is the bomb so how does the fragrance smell like well the opening the opening is very much a burst of chocolate caramel the rum and i immediately as well pick up the sandalwood in the opening so i do pick up the sandalwood as well from the initial spray so if you are expecting this fragrance to be sweet sickly because there's so much vanilla -y, so much chocolate so much caramel going on it's not you know why the sandalwood the cedar and the patchouli really do even things out and even the ylang ylang even though i'll be honest to my nose i do not pick the ylang ylang so much it's not like in your face ylang ylang it's more toned down but it's there supporting giving a nice base to the fragrance and the sandalwood in this fragrance just evens things blends things and i think it's the sandalwood the cedar that's really making this fragrance to even last as long as it does even the patchouli and to my nose the patchouli in this is not like your chocolatey patchouli it's more of like a dry dry kind of like um a dry earthy patchouli so that's what i get and this is what makes this fragrance to be not so sweet even though it's a lovely gourmand fragrance it's not sickly sweet it's well balanced well blended and you know what as the fragrance wears down you get the initial caramel chocolate but in the mid you do get things do settle down nicely that sweetness that initial sweetness is kind of gone the caramel is just kind of disappeared ever so slightly just gone away by the time it's 20 minutes into the fragrance richly it's not as sweet as it was at the opening it's more it's evened out and at this point you get a lovely almost creamy and i think this is from the sandalwood and the vanilla creamy woods that's what you get you get like a nice creamy woods with the coffee and it's just beautifully blended it gets you know sensual like hmm, oh, you want a snack come eat me <laughs> you know what i mean so this fragrance for that reason it would be a perfect date night fragrance it absolutely goes into my date night fragrances i would wear it for date night with that said 
it's still a very versatile fragrance because this fragrance you can dress down dress up you can wear a jeans you can wear a dress you can wear anything with this fragrance it's that versatile but it's a lovely woody chocolatey coffee flavored uh, caramel fragrance that's just gorgeous it's a delight to wear this fragrance it's just so lovely and you know where you think that this is insomnia it's gonna keep you you think that maybe it will be chaotic maybe you would think it's insomnia it's gonna have too much complexities going on which should keep you wide awake it does not instead what you get is a lovely soothing comforting fragrance that's what i get at least and it's just a nicely blended fragrance easy to wear nothing too complex going on it's just beautifully blended which makes you just enjoy the fragrance and that's what this is all about just lovely enjoyable fragrance and you know what this fragrance again like i said it's insomnia but there's nothing bad about it like to keep you wide awake instead it's not chaotic it's very soothing you're gonna enjoy this fragrance if you enjoy chocolate fragrances you love sandalwood you love a bit woody fragrances you enjoy gourmand fragrances highly recommend for you to check this out and as well i did say before in my initial video which i spoke about this fragrance and i did say that it kind of reminded me of Arabian Woods Risala I'm gonna have to backtrack on that because upon smelling them by side by side even though they have some similarities yes the chocolate etc caramel in the Risala I realized Risala is got more is is di is a bit different because of that saffron so you don't have any saffron in this and it just smelled uh, slightly different though you would say they are kind of in the same kind of family in the same vein but they are not exactly the same fragrances so i'm just reviewing this on its own because it wouldn't be fair to uh, compare with other things and i've seen on uh fragrantica some people did mention uh black phantom but i don't have black phantom so i can't even go there so i'm just giving you this review how this fragrance smells to my nose and like i've always said don't take my word for it try it for yourself i'm gonna link the details to their website down below as well so you should check check it out it's not very expensive at all it's more in the affordable range so it's about i think 60 euros or 60 pounds don't quote me i'm gonna put the details down below and as well uh, uh fabio safari is on instagram so you should go and check them out as well if you are on instagram and yes so to the fragrance as i said the the rum in this fragrance just gives the fragrance a nice balance you know where it should be like just sweet it just evens things out so it's got that lovely boozy vibe boozy woody sweet just not like sweet sweet but more like you know what i mean come on just gorgeous stuff so do check it out do i recommend this fragrance absolutely for the price and what you are getting absolutely worth it and this fragrance as well performance we want to know that don't we performance projection it does project like this one you wear it people are gonna know what are you wearing you're gonna be asked and this is a fragrance i imagine you're gonna get compliments on i can't tell you about compliments because i rarely meet people now like i rarely go out <laughs> i rarely just i avoid you know so i don't know about that but when i've worn it sprayed it gone downstairs kids husband darling what is that smells amazing oh mommy you smell nice that is really nice that's what i got so everybody in the house agrees they are loving this so if have you sampled this fragrance please if you have let me know down in the comments below as well i really appreciate your feedback and as well how long does this fragrance last this fragrance for me i got a good seven hours so for a fragrance that's that uh, price to add to that 50 pounds or 60 pounds i think that's very decent performance because i'm sure you all know you have fragrances that are more pricey and will give you four hours so this has got decent performance so quite good performance good projection and sillage as well great things so all in all this is a solid release 
gorgeous fragrance one I'm absolutely delighted to have in my collection and I'm looking forward to enjoying this in the coming months because this fragrance as well will be mostly enjoyed in the cooler weather I must say that so this fragrance definitely dead nights cooler weather you know when it's maybe on a spring evening or autumn evening or autumn in the day you can get away with it but I feel like in the summer it would be too much it may get a bit too much in the summer so ideally I recommend it for the upcoming weather depending on where you are because in some parts of the world it's going to be summer but if you are going into winter absolute must have try it at least so insomnia by Fabio Seferi thank you so much for watching this review and I hope it does give you an idea of what to expect on the fragrance and if you've checked it out please let me know down in the comments below and if you haven't I hope you do and if you do please do let me know come back and let me know what you think so Fabio Safari Insomnia thank you so much for watching I shall see you soon take care bye